I'm pretty sure each person who has clicked on this video right now has already heard of Apex Legends. The most legendary game that has ever came into the marketplace by surprise like this. Nobody knew of this game. This game just, just flew into our laps like a little present from God. Like everybody in the world needed this game. This was this was so needed right now. Between the people who are revolting against Battlefield 5 and how poorly Black Ops 4 is coming out, and it's not a lot of people who want to get into Rainbow Six Siege. It's a pretty old outdated game, so it's not much that's going on in the competitive FPS scene. I mean, there are some people who like to play Overwatch a lot, but I mean, it's not really a game that has gotten everybody so shook before. Everybody so riled up. Besides Fortnite. Fortnite was the last game that was actually like that, but that game is third person and it's, it involves a lot more building than shooting. So I wouldn't really completely consider it in the FPS category. It's a completely different uh, gameplay and a completely different game style. So Fortnite's completely different than Apex Legends and all the other FPS games. But this game, it has just come in to the gaming scene at the perfect time time but i've been grinding it out i've been playing it so much one because i want to get a review for this game out you know i'm enjoying it so much i'm having a blast with it that i think it's worthy of a full blown out review but i want to give myself a little bit more time i'm going to see what they do with the game maybe if they add in solos and duos and stuff like that and see if some of the the few minor things in the game will get tweaked out and then i'll decide you know go around and finally make a review about this game then I'll think, okay, it's it's good enough for the review. Let's just push it in. But until that day happens, I've been playing this game day in, day out. All the clips I'm getting for Black Ops 4 and Battlefield 5 right now are stockpiled. They're they're pushed all the way in the back right now, so I can just pull them out and make you know other content besides Apex. But I've been playing this game every single day since it has come out. I might have hopped on Black Ops 4 once out of each day that I played Apex. But with all this time and the knowledge I'm gaining on this game, I think it's time that I should put out a tips and tricks video for it. The first tip that I wanna talk about is how you work with reviving your teammates. Now I know everybody already knows that you drop a little green tag when you finally die in game. So when you drop this green tag, your teammates can pick it up and they can bring it to a beacon which will spawn you back into the game. But the downside is when you spawn back into the game, you spawn with no loot you spawn with nothing which is reasonable it works i like that that's fair enough and it doesn't really it's not too overpowered or too obnoxious that you can't get loot later on you find loot pretty quickly but the number one thing that i think is most important is watching the time when you're done with the gunfight if you still have a minute and a half to two minutes until the zone finally starts closing then pick up your teammate and bring them to the beacon Instead of, you know, waiting and looting and figuring all this stuff out and then take them to the beacon when it's like 30 seconds left and then your teammate is stuck with having to find loot elsewhere. Give your teammate enough time to loot. They need time to get their weapons back up, get their armor back up. They have to get everything that they just lost in that gunfight back up. Now, of course, if the time is very low and you're very, you know, you're, you're low on time. You know, and you can't get enough time to bring him to the beacon and get back so you can loot. Then by all means, loot up, get your stuff, get your gear, and then you'll find something at the next beacon. But if you do have the time, don't be greedy and bring your teammate to the beacon and let him have some damn loot. It's unfair, it's not reasonable, it's just, it's ridiculous because you can bring them back, but people will refuse to bring you back until they're completely looted up and then you can't go back into the gunfight because it's too late to go back to get your loot. You know, things, little things like that can get a little crazy in Apex Legends, so just make sure that you watch the time when you finish the gunfights if your teammates do die. To get the slightest bit competitive at this game, you need to learn how to be very quick with your movements in this game. When you're running around, you should always try to pull out your knife. You are very quick and fast. Now, not while you're in gunfights. If you're engaging in gunfights, make sure you have your weapons out. It's stupid to not have them out unless you're trying to run away or get somewhere else. But if you're actually engaging with an enemy, make sure your weapons are out and ready. But if you're just moving around, you're trying to get from place to place on the map, you're trying to run here to, you know, point A to point B, or you're just trying to get to the zone a little bit quicker, running with your knife is very important and will get you around. Another thing that would really help your mobility is sliding. Sliding is like key in this game for everything. Not just sliding on ground, but sliding down hills and everything like that. You are just whipping around when you slide around the map and also if you slide jump it's very 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 helpful 
for moving quickly around the map. I'll tell you that. The slide jump mechanic in this game is perfection. It was so good that when I hopped back on Black Ops 4, I tried to slide jump everywhere. I'm like, what's going on? Why is this not smooth like it is in Apex? What's happening? Yo, I was actually freaking out. <laughs> I'm being dead serious with you guys. I was so confused why I wasn't sliding that fast in uh, Black Ops 4. And I remembered, I'm like, okay, Apex is a completely different game. But slide jumping is very good in Apex Legends. Make sure you have your knife out, though, while you slide jump because that is that's key. That that's just key to this game to get from point A to point B. If you're trying to move quick, slide jump, knife out, you're set easy as that and also there are these little balloons that you can zip line up which are very useful as well you can actually use these not only to scout the area around you and just kind of fly in circles and just land back in the same position but you can also use them to get to point a to point b as usual or try to get to zone a little bit quicker i've also used it multiple times to just hit different flank routes as well now i can't even express this enough this is the most important key to this game ever in history. Push your enemies. Now this might sound insane. You're like, Jay, wh what are you talking about? Wh uh, huh? Are you, are you going crazy? This is a battle royale game. You want me to push my enemies? What? Are you crazy? No, no, I'm being dead serious, guys. I'm being dead serious. You should push every gunshot that you hear in this game. I'm being so serious. You might think I'm crazy, but I'm being very serious when I say this is key to this game as well. When you push and you engage with other enemies, you have to understand that gunfights last a while. <laughs> they last actually a long time sometimes with how much health you have in this game. So if you come in and you third wheel it with your squad, either you're going to be picking up the scraps of the people who are trying to loot and get more health so they can regen, or you'll get into the fight while they're still fighting, and you can just pluck off whoever you want. They're both going to be low on health. You all are armored up and have full health. It's an easy duck. And then when you do encounter this, you have six boxes. I repeat, you get six loot boxes in this game. Okay? These are six different individuals who have been all around the map looting everything that have dropped all their boxes right in front of you. You will get insane amounts of loot. And in a game like this, loot is so important. It is so key because you need certain items. You need a lot of meds. You need a lot of armor. You know, you need a lot of everything, a lot of ammo. You need attachments, definitely attachments. For God's sakes, you can't go around with a bare weapon. You're not gonna win any gunfights. This game takes a lot of stuff. So when you kill people, you are more likely to get better equipment than just running around looting random things. I guarantee this. And if you die, then whatever, spawn into a new game and start it up again. You'll have more fun pushing gunshots than you'll have fun just looting around looking for items. I promise you. And you'll get your loot so much quicker. You just have to understand, when you hear gunshots, you have to go. I mean, you have to jump on it. Because if you can get there at the right time, you will catch your enemies lacking. I swear to God you will. They'll be low on health, or they'll still be fighting the other enemy. So no matter what, you're going to be in this situation at the perfect time with the right amount of health to get all that juicy loot. So you just got to take my word for this one, guys. Just push the enemies, okay? And also, with that being said, be wary of your surroundings when you are engaging with people. I'm being serious, this is, this is becoming a trend now. People are pushing people, they're engaging with people, and they're being aggressive. This game is more aggressive than Fortnite is, and you don't even have the building mechanics to build walls around you when you're in the middle of the open. This is just an aggressive FPS shooter for Battle Royale. This is literally what I've been waiting for for so long, guys. I mean, dead serious with you guys. This is the type of Battle Royale I've been waiting for. But seriously, push the enemies, and just be wary of your surroundings as well when you are engaging with enemies. People will swarm you. I swear, they will really swarm you, so just be prepared. All right, guys, that sums up this video. If you didn't hear any tips in this video that you guys have, make sure you leave down in the comment section on some tips that you guys have come across in this game that helps improve your gameplay. So far, these are the tips I've come up with. The rest of this game, for me, is pretty much just situational awareness, knowing your map, knowing your surroundings, and just having the overall gun skill to gun down your opponents. You gotta put a lot of shots into your enemy. So, like I said, just stick with your teammates. Having teammates is key in this game because you want to be able to put more shots than just your gun into enemies as well. And if you can get their armor off, it should be a pretty clean, easy kill. 
but it's just getting the armor off. That's the only thing. But you know what? It works for me. It's still fun. Still a great game. Let me make sure you leave your tips down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you dislike if you absolutely hate it. I mean, if you hated this video and you're like, yo, this guy's a douchebag. This is the worst commentary I've ever heard. Hit that dislike. Just hit it, man. Just hit it. I, I'm sorry that I made you angry, but I enjoy making these videos. So, <laughs> hey, man, hit that dislike and just let me know, okay? Subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more content. Hit that bell notification to, you know, get notified for all the content. You can chat with me on Twitter, at Man. If you want to catch me streaming, you can catch my streams on Twitch, at Man. Thank you all for just checking out this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.